Alright, this one's a long time coming. There's probably like 10 fucking plus years coming on this one. Born in 93, my 90s baby. Shout out to my 90s babies. And we all know that when we were first in school and the internet was coming around and they had those nice Apple circular colored computers at everyone's desk. We weren't always doing what we were supposed to do. Hmm. One of the earlier websites that we had that we would fuck around with, at least in New York, I know the people around my area, I can't speak for everywhere, but I'm sure that it wasn't just New York, it was Newgrounds. It had all the fucked up weird things that you can look at that a 10 year old would find funny, but it also had these fun ass games that helped you just pass time during class whenever you weren't getting hawked down and I remember there was a game that I really used to like a lot but I could never get far with it at all because I was fucking 10 for however old I was I'm probably a little older and a little younger but it's this negotiator series and I'm not sure exactly who made it we're gonna find out now as a matter of fact I should probably see if I can uh, find like the whole series I can Try from like episode one or some shit. I'm on Addicting Games, but shout out to Newgrounds, shout out to Addicting Games, shout out to Mini Clips. These were all like the fucking lifesavers back in the day. Heavy games, armor games. Oh, I feel like I'm probably still gonna suck ass in this. It's gonna be terrible. All right, all right. Let's let's just start here at the bottom. Let's go for the Lusty Barfly. Volume up. Let's get that fucking volume up. In altered states, your knowledge of human nature and your intuition will serve you better than logic. Know your opponent. While logic is a useful tool, it may not help you here. Know your opponent. Mind you, I just have to really give this disclaimer. This might be a first. I drank some prune juice earlier. If you hear random ripples in time and space, it's my ass. <laughs> so I, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Just disclaimer, you know, beforehand since we're being responsible here. Okay. So it's Tuesday evening. Earlier today, your boss sent you out to fetch a videotape from his lawyer. This fall. You became feverishly curious about what you might find on the tape or what might be on the tape and decided to quickly nip home to have a look on your own camcorder. Unfortunately, the tape jammed in your machine before you could see anything. It took you an hour to dismantle your machine and extract the tape. You called work and left a message that you were going to be late because your car just got a flat tire. You smoothed out the creases on the tape and began fretting about how you would explain the damage. You decided to pop into a bar for a quick drink to settle your nerves. An hour later, as you're leaving the bar, you realize you've lost the tape. Hmm. There's an interesting one. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, <laughs> you raised back to discover there was no sign of your tape, and the bartender didn't know what you were talking about. Realizing that you are now in serious trouble, you order another drink. Try to figure out what you're going to tell your boss. And here we are. Oh. So, what's on the tape? What's on the tape? Nosy bitch. Okay, is nosy bitch an ultra? No. Okay. Uh, tell her it's confidential information and heads will roll if you don't get it back. That makes it sound too important. Say it's none of her motherfucking business. Yeah, three nipple having. Uh, and demand that she hand over the tape right now. 
or three, ask if she'd mind if you buried your face in her breast to retrieve it. That's an option. It's an actual option. I don't know if that's what she was looking for. Just because she put the tape in there and that's my belonging. So, I don't know. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Say it's none of her business and demand she hand over the tape right now. I don't want to be an asshole, but... Hey, don't get your knickers in a twist. Why don't you buy me a drink? Mm. So you'd be delighted to buy her a drink after she gives you back the tape. That'd be nice. Tell her she doesn't want to get hurt. <laughs> she better hand over the tape. No fooling. Plead with her that you'll lose your job if you don't get the tape back. So it's either A or C. Uh, it's either I'll tell her I get a drink afterwards, but I don't want to lie to her. I might not. I might. I might not be delighted to buy her a drink after she stole my shit. So, you know what? Let me go. Let me just be the honest guy. I like. I like honesty. I think you deserve to lose your job. And you um, know what? You bore me. Oh. So I'm gonna count to three. <laughs> and then physically get the tape. And then start counting. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna go well. I don't think that's gonna go well. Uh, you grab the house phone and call the police. Tell her the tape isn't as important to you as getting to know her better. <laughs> What's other? Oh. Psych. Okay. Um. Call the cops! Oh. Why don't you go powder your nose? I'm counting to three. One. Two. Oh, oh she's, she's, she's counting now. Okay, maybe I should have counted. I don't know if I had a gun to count. Um. Ooh, okay. You take off for the washroom as fast as she, she wants me to go. Maybe she really just wanted me to, like, grab her tits. Maybe this all could have been avoided. Grab her tits. Okay, um. You take off for the washroom as fast as you can. Or I shout for help. I'm sure if I shout for help, she's gonna shoot me. You call her bluff and reach for the tape. Mm. I feel like, I mean, she just pulled out a gun on me in a bar. Maybe I should call her bluff. Go for the washroom. She's telling me to powder my nose. Maybe if I go to the washroom and come back, she'll, she'll chill the fuck out. The gun isn't as long. Well, let's see. Ah! I wasn't supposed to powder my Looking for this. Okay. So what's on the tape? Okay, I'm gonna grab your I'm gonna grab your tits. Relax. You're not even at first base, sweetie. And if you try to steal home, I'll blow your head off. That's kind of what I'm looking for, doll. Come on now. Put fifty dollars on the table and ask for a tape. <laughs> uh, tell her if she doesn't want to get hurt, she better hand over the tape now. Or tell her that you lose her job. All right, I'm gonna go with fifty fifty dollars. I feel like she's just gonna tell me she's bored with fifty dollars. She doesn't want money. Know your opponent. She obviously has some type of fucking objective. And $50 is definitely not the objective. So... I think you deserve to lose your job. Okay. And you know what? You bore me. Okay. Yeah. I, I've heard that one before. Um... It, 
am I supposed to lie to this bitch and tell her like I really like her or something? All right, hold on. Ha ha. Okay. There's one thing I can't stand. It's a liar. Good, tell good. Tell the truth. Compliment her on her dress. Can I compliment her on her? Tell her she can't expect to know the truth if she uses other people's property as blackmail. That's the truth. Okay, that's also a death to all liars. Oh. Now you can see what we're dealing with here. And now you can see our little our conundrum and why 12, 10 to 12 year old me didn't really have the best of luck. Uh, the breast route, it kind of worked, but it didn't really work. You know, so I don't know. Um, tell her his confidential information is hedgeable. Oh. Let's, let's oblige her. Oh, that sounds interesting. It does it, Ed? What kind of confidential information? Uh, tell her his top secret military info. And her life is in danger if she doesn't give me back my shit. Uh, say it's none of her business and demand she hands over my shit. Call for her $20 for the tape. I doubt $20 is gonna do it. And her life is in danger as long as it's between her breasts. This one's lusty, for sure. Say it's none of her business. You think you could hurt me? Go ahead. I dare you. No, I'm not going to hurt you. The military is going to hurt you. She's really calling my bluffs here. I'm not liking this. Uh, assure her that it's not. See? Look, he even knows. Tell her it's the people who own the tape that would think nothing about putting a bullet between her breasts. You glare at her with a menace in your eyes. Count to three. Or say she seems like a nice person and you know she's just having fun, but it doesn't, she doesn't get the tape back to lose. Uh, I think you deserve to lose your job. And you know what? You bore me. Okay, maybe I should have went with the other one on that one. But it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah. I'm calling the fucking cops. Why don't you go powder your nose? I don't want to counting to three. Fucking powder my nose. One, two. Gracie. She seems like a Gracie to me. Uh, reach for the tape. If I reach for the tape, she's gonna blow my head off. But I'm probably gonna reach for the tape because I can't really shout for help. She's gonna still blow my head off. Um. She shot me in the face before, so I'm expecting a, a shot to the face. Okay. Shout out to Michael Gibson. I think that's the name. Or what? I like the titty bounce. Quality effects. Back in... When did this come out? Let me see when this came out. This came out in the year 2000. This came out 21 years ago. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I was... I was seven. I was seven years old playing this. Wow. Uh... Go for, I'm gonna go for a tits again. Relax. You're not even at first base, sweetie. And if you try to steal home, I'll blow your head off. Mm. Love you too. Uh, tell her if she doesn't want to get hurt. Uh, tell her you don't want to lose your job. I'm gonna just swap your picky. money. I'd rather hear you sing. It's my birthday today, and if you would sing me a birthday song. I'd be so happy. Yeah? That's what you want? Nah. She wants a birthday song. I'm, I don't think she really wants me to sing her happy birthday. You glare at her with a menace and start a countdown. She's going to blow my face off. Or wish her a happy birthday and tell her you're a lousy singer and you'll get fired if you don't get the tape back. I'm, I'm going to sing a happy birthday. Thank you. Come on. 
What, what's this bitch's problem? What's up there? If I don't dance, are you gonna shoot me? You asked how she would feel if a grand piano were dangling by a thread over her head. You tell her that's gonna be the fate of your career if you don't get the tape back. Ask her how dancing will help get your tape back. That's a great fucking question. You dance well, you get the tape back. Dance while I get the tape back. All right, A and B. I like that. We got answers. Say you're not a good dancer. At this point, I want my fucking tape. Say you will only slow dance with her. You're a good slow dancer. Hey! I got it! Oh my god, this is fucking 20 years in the making. Know your opponent. Oh, I love it. That's weird. She just wanted to dance or she was gonna shoot. That was great. That was great. Oh. Oh wow. I'm actually really excited. You have no idea. I was playing this in 2000 and I never beat it. Not once. That's great. I'm gonna do a part two. Yeah.